Much up in flames, a fireball lighting up the night sky over the Marshfield Marina as a boat burns. Witnesses saw the flames from a nearby restaurant and ran to help. Now crews are working to remove that boat from the marina. WBZ's on a milers in Marshfield with more on the difficult battle faced by firefighters. Kate, that boat, that charred boat, is now almost fully submerged, and crews will have to come hoist it out of the water today. Meanwhile, the Coast Guard and DEP are here working on cleaning up the spilled fuel. It was huge. It was big. It was scary. Cell phone video shows massive flames consuming a 48-foot boat at the Green Harbor Marina in Marshfield. Evan Vino spotted the fire from a nearby restaurant and ran to the dock. It was crazy. It was nerve-wracking. You wanted to make sure everything was all right and everyone was okay. Fire crews rushed the marina just after 9.30 Thursday night. They used water and foam to tackle the flames. The biggest challenge is preventing the boat from drifting to the nearby fuel dock and keeping the flames from spreading to neighboring boats. It was a big worry that we had going there. We had to actually hose down a couple of other vessels to, to, to stop it from spreading to them, but we did manage to do that. The D-Light is now almost fully submerged in the water. It was full of 600 gallons of fuel when it caught fire. Crews put a boom around the boat to contain any remaining fuel. It's a moderate impact with, uh, with the uh, fuel spill to the uh, marshes and local creeks, so the Coast Guard is here today. Uh, DEP is on scene as well, uh, looking at those areas uh, where the diesel fuel traveled to last night. The owners are too upset to talk on camera, but say they're very relieved no one was hurt. It's something that he's had for 18 years, so he's very disappointed. But I think he was happy that there just wasn't more extensive damage, and he was very happy that nobody was injured. The fire chief says the owner was working on his boat yesterday. He's not sure if that may have caused the fire, but he says it does not appear suspicious. Reporting live from Marshfield, Anna Myler, WBZ News.